to say that the all the issues I've been uh, talking to you about, including the metaphysics of architecture and the empty center, the ritualistic pathway, informed this project. If I hadn't lived in India and done these things, I couldn't have done this one in, in uh, Lisbon, the way it was. It's a site which is, uh, yeah, and this is the site, and this is the river Tagus, and it, where it joins the Atlantic, and from where the great navigators like uh, Henry the Navigator, and of course uh, Vasco da Gama and his other people, they sailed out to discover on their voyages of discovery. So the site we have is a historic site, but it, it, it's nondescript, it was. Now when I went to see the site, I, I was, it was locked, and I had to, I was, so what, I'd just come in on a flight and stuff, so I wanted to see it, it was drizzling, and we kept walking along this curve, and I kept asking Jean, who was a client, Botelio, I said, uh, where's, the, where's the ocean? And uh, he said, just a little further, a little further. And of course, we didn't find it. I mean, we had to go back with the rain. So, but when I, mean, I went to sleep that night, I knew that we must find a way to go when you enter, to go straight to the water. And then because you have uh, a pathway here, I said, it cannot be just two walls, there has to be a thing where you go back to this public space and go. So in other words, you're giving all this back to the city. And the buildings are behind these curved walls. That's a model of the thing. There are three buildings actually. One, one is the, the it's, it's a center. When it opened, I said, I'm so proud this is not a museum of modern art. I'm fed up of them. This is a place for dealing people who have cancer, brain disease, going blind. So they're real people struggling to survive. And we've tried to use architecture as therapy, nature as therapy, the sea, the sky, etc. And I think that's very important because it used to be that architecture was concerned with schools, with hospitals. And some, I think one of the great buildings of, of uh, um, Alto, as you know, is, the, is that TB hospital. We don't do that anymore now. You, uh, they, you have to do either museums or airports to show that you're really good. And actually both these are building types which are, I would say, culture free. You can do whatever you like, but if you try to do housing, then it's very culturally specific and climate specific. And I think that's very important because that knowledge is then brought to other projects. So at the end of this big slope, you, you are walking up a slope and all you see ahead is the sky. You come to some water and in that water is a very enigmatic object. It could be the back of a turtle or an island. And then here you can see the three buildings. This is given to the city as, a, as an amphitheater, which they have r everything from science uh, lectures to rock concerts. So this, I'll just show you some pictures of the building finished. This is the empty center. This is the bridge at the top, the glass bridge. This, you can see the, 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 the pathway to the sea. This is where you get off the car. The two buildings, the, the medical center, and, and the, this is the, the, the conference center and the offices and stuff and there's a glass bridge over, and then this is the third thing. And then these are all lit by gardens, and so there, there is a nice uh, definition of the, the private space and then the public space. It's like yin-yang, they don't interfere with each other. This is from the sea. This is just finishing construction. That opening is of the auditorium, and we've got one sheet of plexiglass, which gives you this view of the river. That's the Bel which is 
that historic tower. These are the entrances. This is inside the building. These are, this just shows you an idea of how the gardens at different levels uh, with a wall there are, are, are giving light and air and scale to the spaces. This is a big tropical forest because I, I thought when you're really ill, it'd be wonderful to see nature and how fecund it is. This is a, one of the therapy courtyards where they, they can administer and they, they've got, you know, for that uh, chemotherapy, etc. That's, that's the amphitheater. That's the, that's the glass bridge of that. There we go. And there you can see the slope and how you don't get to see the, the, the curve over here. You don't, you, do, you don't get to see people. All you see is right out to infinity. So I'll just take you up that slope and you reach the top. And I put these two concrete columns which end in per, blue concrete to symbolize this idea of the unknown. In fact, it's called the Champalimo Center for the Unknown. And that's the object in the water, which could be anything. It's what you go and search of. Thank you very much. <laughs>